Hey everyone, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. And if you don't want to miss out on weekly pick a card readings for me each week, don't forget to subscribe. Today's pick a card reading is why do people fall in love with you? Okay, let's find out. In front of me, I have four different options, each with a different shell. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, group three, and group four. If you need more time, you can pause the video now, and if you know which one you want, you can go to the timestamp down below. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so why do people fall in love with you? Okay, so the first thing I noticed when looking at your pile is that you guys have a real fiery nature, okay? So I was getting fire vibes right away. And some of you might be a fire sign, but you don't have to be. And with that, what I noticed is it's like you guys are like lively people, okay? And you're driven and you're really passionate about what you do. And people notice that and they are drawn to you like a magnet because of it, okay? It's kind of like what is more attractive than seeing somebody do what they are passionate about, right? Like it's just like, it's so attractive to observe. Okay, and I also feel like you guys overall are really attractive individuals. Okay, so I feel like, you know, a lot of people are just, you know, love at first sight is what's coming through to me on that. I also feel like you guys have really attractive eyes, okay? And you might even, like, be good with, you know, like, eye contact and people just, it drives them crazy. Okay, I'm also getting the impression with this card that you guys are hard to get, okay? So I feel like, you know, you, just because you get a lot of attention, and I feel like you guys do, and you get hit up a lot, that you're not just like, okay, yeah, you know, like, this is the next person. It's almost like, no, you know, you take your time. You kind of like, you entertain it, but you're still kind of like, I don't know. You know, you, you wait, though. You wait to see, though. Like, it's kind of like you're waiting for the one, and you have such an intuitive nature that you kind of know when people hit you up. Like, eh. So, yeah. And that, like, yeah, it, it all plays together with you being hard to get. Okay, I also feel like a lot of people view you as kind of being the opposite of them or like from, you know, like you and them are just from different worlds and people are intrigued by this. I actually feel like, you know, in this case, yes, it's whatever it is that's different about you than other people that they're, they're attracted to it, okay? So it's kind of like, in your case, the opposites do attract. Okay. With this card, I feel like you guys have a powerful presence, so it's not even necessarily what you say or do, it's like your presence alone speaks volumes, okay? And I'm, yeah, it's just like you have this confident nature about you. And I also feel like it puts people like, it's like a groundedness, so they actually feel peaceful around you. So, okay, and along with this too, I feel like you guys are you either, you know, are good at making money or will be, and it's just like you have this whole like thing where, you know, you're doing well or are working towards something and people are drawn to that. Also, if you're a guy, what's coming to me with the bear card in particular is I feel like you guys are either like broad or like muscular and in shape, okay? And that draws people to you. I also feel like if you're, you know, a girl watching this, you're in shape as well. But for the guys, it's coming through strongly. Okay, so 
With the self-serving card, yes, sometimes you guys can come across as being kind of self-centered, but it's not in an annoying way at all, okay? So it's more like you view yourself highly and you come across like that with the crown there. I don't know if you could see it. Like that king or queen that you are. And people, you know, they're like, all right, yeah, they like it. Okay, and with the clouds card here. You guys, you know, you definitely have a mysterious air about you, okay? So it's kind of like, you know, you give people just enough about who you are and what you're up to and, you know, any info that you want about yourself, but they're still left wanting to know more, okay? And that's because you only reveal what you want, okay? So yeah, you definitely, you know, you come across as mysterious and people sometimes feel like they're kind of in the dark about you. And then I feel like with the light clouds and then you reveal what you want. Okay. And you guys definitely come across to like somebody who is independent and doesn't have to have anybody else okay so in that way your energy is like balanced it doesn't come across as being too much but it doesn't come across as being not interested so you've got this nice independent balance going for you and I feel like people are really drawn to that because they don't feel like, oh, you know, you're like, I just want someone, anyone. No. Okay. So it's kind of like, because you come across, like you are whole and complete on your own. Like people, I feel like are, it's like a moth to a flame. Okay. <laughs> With how magnetic that is because they feel like, oh, so if this person wants me, you know, that must be, that must mean something about me. So yeah. On top of like the energy is just all, all around balanced and focused on you and doing you and whatever it is that you want to accomplish. So it goes back to that passion and you know just coming across as a lively and doing what it is that you're passionate about. So you are all around like this amazing catch 22 of a person so it's no wonder people fall in love with you honestly. Also, group number one, when you guys are in a relationship, I feel like you are a great boyfriend or girlfriend and that you shower the other one with this affection and I feel like you're just this all-around romantic. Okay, group number one, this is what I say for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments and if it does, don't forget to give it a like. Alright, bye guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so why do people fall in love with you? Okay, so instantly when I looked at your cards, I got air and water vibes. So whether you're an air sign or a water sign or not, that is the energy that's coming through for you guys. Okay, so with the air sign vibes, I feel like why people fall in love with you is because you guys are social you know you can talk to anyone like easily and it, there's just this ease about you and i feel like when you do talk like people are you know they're they're curious they're interested okay so with this card you know it's showing me yeah like you guys are you're warm, you're friendly, you know, you, you can talk about anything and to anyone and I feel like people are just drawn to that like a magnet, okay? And you put them at ease because you're so easy to talk to as well. I'm also getting the impression with you guys that people love the sound of your voice, okay? So you might have a really nice voice that people just like want to listen to no matter what it is you're talking about, okay? So that's interesting. Okay, so along with that, so on one hand, I feel like you guys are really outgoing and talkative and fun. Okay, that's the other thing. I feel like you guys make anything feel fun. So whether you're out, going out, or like you're staying in with people, like they feel fun. Like they're having fun in your presence. Okay, so that's the air side of you okay as well as intelligence is coming through okay so 
with the owl as well as the king of air so you guys are really intelligent too and i feel like you know topics that you know a lot about it's almost like you're a professor in that area and you could just keep talking about it and people just keep listening okay i also feel like you some of you are good debaters as well okay but then you guys have kind of a water side to you okay it's so getting kind of Pisces, Cancer vibes, well, even Scorpio. So, like, there's a depth to you, okay? And kind of like a secret world, so to speak, about you. And it's kind of like, you know, it's... So, on one hand, yeah, you like to be social and talkative. But on the other hand, I feel like you like to be alone. And, you know, I feel like you'd be cool with staying in and reading a good book, honestly, is what come is what's coming through for this. Yeah, and I feel like some of you, you might even write or work on art or something creative. Okay, so, yeah. What's interesting, too, is it's kind of like... I feel like some of you don't even like to reveal like who your latest crush is. Okay, so when I see this card, it's got like that secret admirer vibes. So yeah. I also feel like some of you meet your people like online, like who you date. All right, so you guys also have the sweet talker card. So going back to that socialness, you know, and being able to talk to anyone I feel like you guys are also flirty when it comes to talking okay you have the gift of gab so to speak as well as you guys come across as like unique okay so that kind of gives me Aquarius vibes but I'm also getting Gemini vibes with how talkative you are but yeah I feel like you guys you do something that stands out okay so not like everybody else so actually what's funny is with this card, you know, her with the book and then the unique, what also comes to me about you guys is that you're like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, okay? Actually, that kind of describes you perfectly. So on one hand, you know, you guys are social, warm and friendly, can talk to anybody just like she could in the town. But at the same time, it's kind of like, but you're totally okay with your alone time and books sometimes I think you prefer books over people and um you know but you also have this unique way about you because Belle was not like everybody else in town right she didn't like the same things or people right and just did her own thing marched to the beat of her own drum so I feel like that's you guys and that is why people fall in love with you okay so you got that socialness down but you also got you're okay with being alone you know, you read, so you're intelligent, you're unique, and yeah, you're like this interesting combination of a person. Okay, oh, and on top of that, I feel like when you guys are happy, you know, and just, you know, at your happiest, at your best, you are just like, seriously, you are like the sun card. And it's like, I feel like you, you know, you just, you light up and you light others up by them being in your presence. And I feel like your smile in particular, okay? So with the sweet talker and the sun card, I feel like your guys' smile just lights up your face and it, like, people just fall in love with you. <laughs> no joke. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so why do people fall in love with you? Okay, so instantly when I looked at your guys' cards, air came through strong. So whether you're an air sign or not, it's the energy of air that is what makes people fall in love with you. So, okay, so personality-wise, it's like you guys come across like you are happy-go-lucky, kind of laid back, chill, go with the flow, you know, and positive, okay? So we're like positive vibes coming through for this, as well as like dreamy with this card, as well as my dream card, okay? 
In fact, when I saw this, the song that came to me about you guys is the one. I've been having dreams, jumping on the trampoline, flipping in the air. Okay, so along with your dreamy like nature, which people love about you, because I feel like, you know, you like, you have a anything's possible type vibe with your dreaminess. Um, is also like this action is coming through, okay? So I feel like you guys like to engage in any activities that involve a lot of physical activity, okay? Because that's where you feel most alive. So also getting fire vibes with that as well and a pinch of earth, okay? But yeah, and I'm getting that, you know, you guys are the ones who come across on social media. Like you're either always on an adventure or living your best life or, you know, and for some of you, I feel like you actually do travel. And for others of you, it's literally like just you posting whatever it is that you're up to makes it look like an adventure because of the way that you are and the way that you make anything an adventure, okay? This is what makes people fall for you. You guys look like you're living life to the fullest, okay? And yeah, and people feel alive when they are a part of that with you. You guys are also seen to be risk takers. So whether you see that yourself that way or not, that's how you're coming across. And I think you guys are more so than you think, okay? And it could just be maybe you're a decisive person or you don't just dream, you make things happen. I feel like you guys, you know, you're dreamers who take action and people love that. Because I feel like so many other people just kind of talk about dreams or they don't have dreams and they're just kind of doing whatever and you guys are like, even if you're, you know, not currently on the path that you want to be, it's like you're still headed there, you know, and people know that and they love that about you. So some of you are like athletes, I feel like. You know, you do sports or some kind of physical activity, dance, gymnastics, ice skating, uh, rollerblading, just something physical, I feel. Others of you are really into the gym. And others of you are really into traveling, okay? And you have this competitiveness about you. All in all, though, I'm not... Like, some of you might be serious, but I feel like what's interesting, though, is, like, and you would think, you know, with athlete coming in strong, that, oh, yeah, like, seriousness. But, no, I think it's because you guys really do have this more kind of happy-go-lucky nature about you while doing the strenuous activities that you do. It's like people fall in love with you over this. It's an interesting combo, honestly. Music also came through, so I feel like some of you are also, or could be in a band. And yeah, you just have this real, like, creative and, like, you know, just doing something different, like an alternative path, you know, by being in a band or somehow associated with music. Maybe you make music. And for others of you, you know, just different songs remind people of you. Oh, and also with the dream card, I feel like, you know, people dream about you guys. Yeah. Also with the letter card here, I feel like there is something old school about you guys. Okay, so maybe like you call people instead of text them. Okay, there's something old school that you do that people actually really like about you, okay? And it goes again with that there's something like different that you do that's different than everybody else. Too, with the letter card, that you guys could also be like a chivalrous person, okay? So when you are in a relationship, like you treat them amazing. And yeah, you guys, you come across as competitive and you kind of bring that streak out in others. And yeah, it's kind of like life feels like a challenge, like a game with you. All in all, though, group number three, you guys come across, like, 
you know, dreamers who make things happen, like anything's possible, you're light, you're go with the flow, but you're also intense and passionate and very action oriented. And I feel like people just feel like life is an adventure. And I also feel like what's interesting is you get people out of their comfort zones, okay? And it's kind of like they look forward to the unknown with you, whereas before it was like they avoided the unknown. So that's really cool to see. So, yeah. All right, group number three, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonated, let me know in the comments. And if it did, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys. Hey, group number four. Okay, so why do people fall in love with you? Okay, so instantly when I looked at your cards, I got Earth vibes with Libra as well as Scorpio. So even if you are any of those signs or not, that's the energy that came through as far as why people fall in love with you. Okay, so looking at your guys' cards, it looks like you guys went through some kind of a glow up. Okay, so you guys are coming across as different than how you used to. And this is internal as well as the outside. Okay, so some kind of transformation. And yeah, I'm actually getting the impression that you guys used to come across as like being sweet and kind. And then all of a sudden it was like something shifted in you and you were just like, yeah, you know, where is that getting me? And I'm not saying that, you know, being sweet and kind isn't good enough, but um, this is what's coming through for you guys. And then it's like you tapped into this kind of intense, bold Scorpio type of energy where you start speaking your mind and maybe you dress a little differently or do your makeup or hair differently, but there's some part of you now that is like kind of running the show, okay? Like the reins are in your hands now. And I feel like people are now drawn to you, okay? So whereas before you were kind of like, had the, more of a sweet kind energy and like, you were like, why is nobody, you know, pursuing me or, wondering why you weren't pursuing anyone and now it's like it's all flipped now people are drawn to you okay and it's kind of like you're stepping into your own power and really owning who you are and you're speaking your mind more okay so i'm actually getting the impression that there's somehow some way that you guys speak that's kind of a roundabout way that leaves people like what did they just say but like they're intrigued by it so that's interesting. I also feel like whatever it is that you guys are getting into, like you're, you're doing it well, okay? And I feel like you're moving up in the world as far as your path goes. And if you aren't doing what you currently want to be doing, I think, I see that you will be. Okay, so I actually, with this card, I feel like you guys are also kind of into image more than you were before. Okay, so maybe you're posting more on social media. Maybe it's more selfies, you know. Um, some of you are kind of tapped into the materialism a bit. So like, you know, you've got name brand stuff. And you're flashing that around, which is something different, I feel. Like maybe you weren't like that before. Okay. So along with your new intense, bold nature, I feel like, you know... I feel, as well as, like, there's kind of this, like, new attractiveness towards you. So, like, yeah. Um, I also feel like, you know, people kind of see you as being a game player now, a bit. So, a bit of a player. But they like that about you. <laughs> so, it's almost like, whereas before, maybe you came across as predictable, now you don't. And now you come across as choosy and like, who do you want? So people like take that as like a challenge and they like it. Yeah. As well as I feel like your style. There's something about your style now that people love. This is interesting. Also, going back to these two cards, 
I feel like before you kind of came across like you didn't have direction or didn't know where you were going in life and now all of a sudden you come across like you do know and so if you still don't know well this is how you're coming across either way so it's almost like you know maybe you felt like you were kind of aimless and just drifting through life and not really knowing what to do and felt lost and now you're coming across like you have this direction and purpose and you're moving forward okay so like this more like focused driven confident nature about yourself and that's also why people are falling in love with you also i feel like with this new focus comes like a new just like a driven nature about you the people are falling for you for some you know even if it isn't like what you do for money or something maybe you have you're diving into your creativity there's something that you are now doing that you weren't doing before that people are finding like they're falling in love with you over okay so all in all though i feel like you guys now are the one who people are crushing over okay so it's like you're stepping into yourself, you're stepping into your power. It's like you guys are stepping into your power and stepping into who you are as well as your path, as well as, you know, like running the show when it comes to relationships. And like people are, they're crushing over you with this new shift of energy. Oh, and the other thing that comes with the whole style thing is I'm getting like Libra vibes where you guys are just all around coming across as classy. Some of you, it might be a more bolder look, but we're like kind of rock starish is coming through for some of you. But some kind of change in your style is got, and it's just an outward symbol of this new you, honestly. And that what they're really falling for is the new you that's emerging, okay? So in a way, group number four, you guys are like the phoenix rising from the ashes and it's like you're reborn and you're, it's like you chose this newness, this new way to present yourself to the world, this new way of being. And even if you don't feel like you're completely there yet, the shift has already begun and people are noticing and they will, more will notice, okay? But yeah. Also group number four. Okay, so the song that came to me when I saw this was like, and you going from that sweet, you know, kind person to this like bold, intense, you know, I'm going to run the show type of person. The song that came to my mind in regards to that is the song, You Don't Own Me. Yeah, and... It's kind of like you're just like, as you're stepping into your own power, being this confident, driven person who does what they want, it's like you have this newfound freedom. Whereas before it was like you were at the whim of everyone and now it's like you're calling the shots, you got people chasing after you, and you're like, mm, now that I got people chasing after me, I don't know if I want any of them. And I'm going to embrace this freedom of doing what I want when I want. Yeah. So a major energy shift with you guys, that, and that is why people are falling in love with you. Okay, group number four, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. All right, bye guys.